Test, test, one, two, three.
Good morning, everybody. Today we're judging the 2019 AIPP Epson WA Professional Photographer of the Year Awards, and in particular, in the next few minutes, we'll be starting the documentary category, sponsored by our good friends at Olympus. My name is Tony Hewitt, for those of you who don't know me, and I'll be your panel chair for this session, and I'll be supported and looked after by the very capable Jeremy next to me. Thanks, Jeremy who's going to be uh, my scribe and pretty much make sure I keep everything on the straight and narrow. A judging panel is quite an elite panel. We're very lucky today. And on that panel, uh, we have Ian van der Wald from Victoria, who is a master photographer with three bars and an honorary fellow and fellow of the AIPP. We also have with us Anna Blackman from New South Wales, who is a master photographer with two gold bars. In addition, uh, Part of our panel of eight, we have Mr. Chris Saunders, who is not only an associate, but he is the current AIPP, Australian Professional Photographer of the Year. Nice to have you with us, Chris. Rounding out our panel, we have the evergreen Jeff Fisher from WA, who is a master photographer with a few gold bars there. Johannes Reinhardt, who I think's done pretty well again at Head On. Is that right, Johannes? Yeah, well done, mate, and her master photographer. David Britton, master photographer with three gold bars. We also have Peter Hassan, master photographer with two gold bars. And who else we have there? Nick Melodonis is on that uh, team as well. And did I say everybody? Greg Hocking, grandmaster, fellow and honorary fellow. Also a member of the honours committee. So we have some f a real uh, smorgasbord of experience here. Anna, as our... Lovely female judge. I hope you keep that side of the things going. You look very nice today, by the way. I hope that's not feminist, but you do. You look very nice. Uh, okay, a little bit of... Ex Thank you. A little bit of a background on documentary. This category is the documentary category, as I said, sponsored by Olympus. And keep in mind, too, that the overall category of the WA Professional Photographers of the Year is our very, very good friends, Epson. Get a chance to go and say hello to Bruce. Just don't talk about football because he barracks for Richmond. But aside from that, he's actually a pretty good guy. Yeah, we'll get rid of that scarf later. So this category is for documentary, press and birth photography. Judges in this category are asked to consider content, composition, impact and the narrative quality. Images should depict some aspect of the human condition. A reminder that all images must have been observed but not fabricated or directed in any way by the photographer. Entrance may provide a caption to assist the judges in assessing the image properly. This is not mandatory, it's an option. Entries may be commissioned or self-commissioned. Photographs must be the result of a single exposure of light to either film or digital sensor. Focus stacking, HDR, panoramic stitching and multiple exposure techniques are prohibited. Politics, diptychs, triptychs, and all of those other ticks where we get three, two, three, or four frames within the same uh, entry uh, are permitted. The entrant must ensure that there is no attempt to misrepresent reality by manipulating the image's content, context, or meaning through image editing or post production. Post production is limited to minor adjustments such as spotting dust and scratches, dodging and burning, and adjusting tonal and colour values. Elements or areas within the image cannot be removed or covered up, nor may new elements be added. Cropping the image is permitted, as is conversion to black and white. The awards committee reserves a right after assessment of the original capture files provided to disqualify image with images where post-processing is deemed to have exceeded acceptable photojournalistic practices. In the instance of birth photography, Written consent must be obtained from each medical facility, such as a hospital or birth centre, and medical support personnel where they are easily identifiable in an image. Means of identification include both written content, such as signs, name tags, medical records and equipment, and visual content, such as a person's face and physical appearance. Wedding photos are also eligible for this category as long as they are truly found, not created. One of the things I suppose that emphasises that the AIPP takes it very seriously to make sure that our members and the people who are entering these competitions are doing so and following any of the uh, required laws and, and uh, guidelines of whatever situation they're under. So having said that, I'd like to wish everybody who's entered this category uh, good luck. Keep in mind that as much as it's a competition, it's also a valuable opportunity to learn something about photography and hear of the opinions of some of this country's leading photographers. Everybody cool to go? You good to go, Jeremy? Good. He looks pretty cool to go, doesn't he? Judges, you all good to go? Yes. 
So I'll remind the audience that we, as well as our five uh, judges sitting on the panel, at the moment we have Greg, Ian, Anna, Jeff and David. We also have the rest of that team sitting behind ready to step in at any time and we will rotate our judges to maintain a fresh and varied set of opinions. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We'll have the first print, please. In a dark hospital room, Matt becomes a father. He holds his baby girl, Winter, and enjoys skin-to-skin -skin minutes after she is born. Winter was born in the frank breech position and her legs automatically revert to this position in Matt's arm, arms, a position she was in utero. You're right, Jeff. Yeah. Did you, can you just press accept again, make sure it's gone in? Thank you, Jeff. Excellent. Okay, print scores a majority 79. The print actually scores an 80, but because three of our judges are below 80, we actually record a score of 79. At this point, are we okay with that? I'm just looking to see if... Okay, so I'll invite the judges to, if they wish to challenge, to be quick on it. So Jeff has given it 85, you have an 82, two 77s and a 78. Thanks, Jeff. To me, this print has everything going for it, and bearing in mind that um, it's probably in quite fairly low light, but I, I like the way that it's been printed down around the sides, and and I like the detail. It looks sharp, and it's um, it's a beautiful composition, and uh, I would stand by my uh, my judgment on that. Thanks, Jeff. Greg, you are on seventy-seven. I find the uh, handling of the print, uh, printing, uh, just a little bit too heavy for my, for my liking, a, a little bit too doctored. I also find the um, contrived nature of the father having taken his shirt off um, at the point of, of birth also just to not quite work for me as a documentary shot. Thank you, Jeff. I'll go to uh, Ian, who's on 82. He saw this as a silver. Yeah, I, I think it's a, a lovely print. I, I possibly would have gone higher if it wasn't for the uh, the printing and so forth. But I really like the narrative here. To me, this is more a portrait of the father than anything else. And I had a look at the at the went up close and had a look at this. You know, this this tough, muscly guy covered in tats. And then you get in closer and you look at the warmth that he has with this child. And then you read the tattoos on his on his knuckles, like love and life. And it sort of contradicts. I suppose, what we stereo stereotypically think of people covered in tattoos like this. And that's what I got out of this image. And I felt that was a really strong narrative. And I, I put it into the solid silver range for, for those reasons. Okay, thanks, Ian. Jeff, unless somebody else has something to add. 
Um, I probably see this more as a portrait than a documentary image. Um, you know, with the contri I agree with Greg, the contrived nature of it. Um, I'd like to see some connection between the baby and the uh, father too. Thanks, David. Jeff? Uh, I would point out that it's a chance, an opportunity for the father to bond and skin on skin is the, the most uh, obvious thing about it. And it's also a documentary image for the family because he's going to look at that in years to come and the kid will see the tattoos and you'll know his father better, is my opinion. Okay, thanks Jeff. Jeff's on 85, he's going to hold his score and judges, if you'd like to take on board what you've heard and if you choose to, you may, you may rescore, either hold or change your score. And the print scores 80, silver award. Thank you, judges. Next print, please. Caption is, as thousands embark at Perth State War, State War Memorial on Anzac Day 2019 for the yearly commemorative service, attendees observe and pay tribute to, to the innumerable names displayed on the marbled wall shortly after the dawn service. I just remind the judges to watch the chords as you move around, guys. Just a bit of OH and S. This print scores 77. And I'm going to ask uh, Ian van der Wald to make a comment um, just for the author's or for the photographer's benefit. I, r I really like the idea. I think there's a lot of positives in this image. For me, uh, the cropping's letting it down a little bit. I would crop the right hand side, uh, left hand side, sorry, the other right. Um, in to bring it more to those people and I think I would have waited for uh, perhaps a moment where we were getting some form of expression coming out of those shadows, perhaps a head bowing or something to tie it in with this, with this sadness and this loss uh, of, An of Anzac Day. Thanks Ian. And a reminder that at 77 that is at the higher end of professional practice. Next print please. Caption. This penguin was captured in motion as dived into the depths of the ocean. And for all you people who have braved the elements to come out, and elements are pretty beautiful here in WA today, uh, make sure you get around and talk to our sponsors as much as they might look pretty slack standing up there with their coffee bin. Um, there's a lucky door prize, so if you go and uh, work out which sponsor is allocated with which category and line them up, you enter, you put your name and phone number, and somebody wins a lucky door prize. So make sure you get out and check that out. Print scores 75, right in the middle of professional practice, and I'll get a comment from Anna Blackman. I'm very entranced by the, the colour, which is a beautiful abstract, um, but I think that the oversaturation of it when you get closer, the printing, um, uh, it would be great to see it printed again differently, maybe on different paper stock. Thanks, Anna. Next print, please. 
caption, Snow Monkey is one of the most adorable type of monkey. This image shows one of the common things they do, which is grooming. They do this for hygienic reasons like removing lice and also ways to obtain food. By eating the lice, they get their daily dose of protein. Don't say we don't educate you in this competition. Of course, those of you who are listening on live stream, we welcome you. Uh, and if you are close enough, it's worth coming down to check out what the sponsors have to offer. If nothing else, then just to watch Ben Walton pretending to work while he's drinking coffee. And if you are a Richmond supporter, I'm sure Bruce from Epsom would love to have a chat to you. He doesn't have a lot of friends over here from Richmond, so... Come on down, watch the photography, and have a chat. This print averages 80, but is a 79 by majority. A challenge for Anna Blackman on 84. Anna, there's another 84 with you, and then a couple of 78s and a 77. Thanks, Anna. This print has got a most beautiful um, emotion to it, uh, very like human emotion, where you've got what I consider the mother, very gently placing her beautiful fingers, which are just wonderfully in focus, and all the hair on the little baby's head is wonderfully in focus. And the way he's just submitting really, really happily to what's been done, and just the concentration and the whole... Like, it's a, a wonderful, almost human moment, and I, I really think it's been printed beautifully too. Um, Thanks, Anna. Let's hear from Ian on 77. I, I actually uh, agree with you, Anna, and I see all of those qualities in here. For me, it, again, it was a bit of a cropping issue. I just think it's we're, all, we're a bit distant from, from what's actually going on. But I, I did sit on the fence with this one because I wasn't sure I would be prepared to come up if you uh, want to convince me. OK, before I have a... Well, let's listen from Jeff at 84, if you have anything to add, Jeff. Um, I think it's a glorious print and a glorious picture. And the uh, cropping, I would, I would have felt more comfortable if there's a little bit more around it, actually. But there's nothing in it to detract, and I think it's as good as perfect. But at 84. Thank you, Jeff. Does anyone have anything to add before I go back to Anna? Okay, Anna, back to you. Ian, I can see that what you're saying about coming into the action, but I, I think it's really important to see the mum, the way she's leaning over and also to see her lovely head of hair and a bit of the environment too. But it's just, it's just a beautifully captured moment of, of love, even if it is with lice. <laughs> and and it's, a, it's a wonderful print. I think it sits very firmly in the silver category. Thank you, Annie. You hold your score. Judges, take on board what you've heard and rescore accordingly. Thank you. Print scores 83, solid silver award. <laughs> Next print, please. The caption is. I attended the Indian Holi Festival of colour in Perth and watched as people danced and celebrated with so much joy. In a world today where many hide in fear of openly expressing their religious beliefs and cultures, it is important to be proud and to celebrate our diversity.
This print scores an average of 74. I'll have a comment from Greg, if I may. Oh, oh sorry, Anna had something to say. Thank you, Anna. Uh, yeah, I, I think that what needs to be done here is a much tighter crop. I think that there is something going on really beautiful here, but there's too much foreground, especially on the left-hand side. Cropping. And Greg, something to add? I, I think it, it's very important in documentary photography um, to know what, you know what lens really works for any given subject. And I think um, this looks to me to be telephoto, and I really think you need to be working with more standard lenses and get in as close as you can, um, and then the actual um, event will start to, to live. This is too far away. Thanks, Greg. Couple of pearls amongst that. Next print, please. Caption, the mother-to-be is reaching down and helping to lift her own baby into the world during the C-section. This is called a maternal self-assisted caesarean and this was the first one to be performed in a West Australian private hospital. A reminder to the audience that when you hear a score given as an average and then a majority which is different, when whatever the score is, we must have three of the judges in that range. So for instance, if we end up with an average of 80 but three judges are below 80 in the mid-70s, etc., then we go to the next point below that 80. So you don't receive an award unless at least three judges have agreed. This print scores 78. And we have a challenge from Jeff Fisher on 85 with 275s and 277s. Um, looking at this image, uh, I can't see what's wrong with it. And uh, I don't think it's been um, printed too heavily around the sides. And the fact that we can't see the mother's face, we see enough to know what's going on. And it's all about the baby. And it, I think it's in a, in a very good place uh, from the composition point of view. Uh, and I think that it's worth a, a really good silver. You actually, you actually gave it a silver distinction? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's hear from David on 77. Unfortunately, all I see is missed opportunity. I see um, missed expressions, the mum's expression, the mum's eyes. It would have been so amazing to see her face looking at the baby. The expression of the staff. Um, and it's just very messy. Um, I know it's a tricky situation to photograph in, but it's just very messy. And I, I'm just not, um, yeah, I, I, I just couldn't come up from where I'm at at the moment. Anna? As much as I appreciate the t degree of difficulty here, um, unfortunately, the main focus isn't on the baby, but on the gloved hand in front of the baby. And um, this is a, a problem for me. I'm sorry. Okay, anyone have anything to add? Otherwise, I'll go back to Jeff. Well, um, bearing in mind the difficulty, and there wouldn't have been, the photographer wouldn't have been able to move to the left because there would have been people there. So uh, we're left with that, what we've got, but I think it's, uh, it's worth a silver distinction. Thank you, Jeff. You'll hold your score. Judges take on board what you've heard and rescore accordingly, please. Let's just try that again. There you go, try again. This, is this print scores 78, but we've all learned something from that uh, discussion. Thank you. And the degree of difficulty, I'm sure, wasn't limited to just the photographer. It looks like mum had her hands full. Next print, please. Caption. Supporters nervously gather at Northbridge Plaza, Perth, in anticipation of the Australian same-sex marriage postal survey result on 15th of November 2017, aired on the big screen. The result sees them jump for joy when they learn 61.1% of the public voted yes, a historical win for the LGBTQI community. Reminder that we're judging the documentary category, which is sponsored by our very good friends at Olympus. And of course, the 
WA Professional Photographer of the Year awards are sponsored by Epson. Exceed your vision. For the benefit of the audience, a judge after scores have been announced has the opportunity to challenge if they are five or more points away from the announced score. They raise their hand and they let us know that they would like to have a discussion and have the score reconsidered after uh, a few judges have had a chance to explain why they've scored where they have. Thank you, judges. Prince scores average of 80 with a majority 79. Challenge from Anna Blackman on 88. Anna, you have a 75, two 78s and an 82. <sighs> this is the epitome of documentary photography. I mean, you know, we're documenting something that's so important and it's a, it's a fantastic story. The first picture you see the two men and they're holding the hands there, they're clutching, they're white knuckled. And then you've got what's happening, so then we know what it's about, so it, we're telling the story. And then the joy, the absolute joy on the right-hand side. This is documented with just these three pictures, exactly what these people are thinking, what's going on. Uh, it's sharp, it's emotive. Uh, I think it, it, it's brilliant. Let's hear from uh, Ian van der Waal on 78. I agree with you, Anna, and I love the anticipation in the, in the image on the left, and I love the, the overwhelming joy in the image on the right, but for me, the middle image is just making it that little bit too obvious and is dragging it down. I think it would have been, in my opinion, better without that middle image. Um, the, the caption would have explained to us what was happening, but even without that, you can see, irrespective of what it is they're waiting for, the anticipation and then the joy of a decision going their way, I just find... That centre one is just making it all a little bit too obvious. I'd, I'd prefer to see that out of it. I think it would be much stronger. Thanks, Ian. Let's hear from Greg, who's also given it an 82. I, I agree with Ian. The, uh, the middle image does let, let it down a little. Um, but I think the beautiful way the photographer has caught the images either side, one of you know, hope and expectation uh, and then the sheer joy, um, you know, is a, is a very nice way of telling the story visually. Uh, I think there are a couple of other maybe issues with printing and what have you, but the actual communication is there for me and that's the reason I scored it 82. Thank you, Greg. Anybody else have anything to add? Otherwise, I'll go back to Anna. Thank you, Anna. Yes, as a... a uh, an expression of uh, an event being documented and I can see what you're saying about the middle image but if we didn't have a caption I would want to know a little bit more um, but just looking at those three things without three pictures without being told anything else I'm feeling really quite emotional by the time I get to the end of it and very and f and I actually personally felt thrilled when I see the look on that person's face and so to me this is this is the, this epitomizes documentary photography and I really would like you to come into the silver Thank you, Anna. You hold your score at 88 and judges take on board the comments and rescore accordingly. Thanks. Prince scores 82, silver award. We'll have a quick judge change. So just, uh, actually before we do it, we'll judge this print and we'll have a judge change. Thanks, judge. The caption, Orange Grove Settlement in the Eastern Cape, South Africa, houses four and a half thousand people. Next print, please. Sorry. Orange Grove Settlement in the Eastern Cape, South Africa, houses 4,500 4, people, yet has only four taps to provide running water to the entire population who live in extreme poverty. I passed this man heading to one of the taps to fill up his water containers for the week.
this prince scores an 84 by majority and is a silver award. The print averaged 85, as the members of the audience will see on the screen, but again, with three judges below 85, it still scores an 84 at Silver Award. So well done to the, uh, uh, the photographer there. I'm going to have a judge change. I'm going to ask Jeff to have a little break, and we're going to invite Johannes to join the panel. Yeah, yeah Johannes Reinhardt. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to ask Anna to say something. Thank you, Anna. Um, with such a poverty-stricken place, to see this guy with still... You know, a lot of little bits of colour on him and still having some hope is just fantastic. And what really shows its documentary is his foot lifted up, like he's actually moving. He's moving forward. He hasn't stopped for the photo, which I, I love little things like that. Thank you, Anna. Just got to find... Gosh, who would have thought we had that many judges in the system? <laughs> Found him. There we go. Update. Cool. Next print, please. Caption, Claire and Dem, along with older sister, sister Alia and grandmother, welcome baby Xander, born at the family birth centre. Xander is a rainbow baby, a term to describe a baby born after a miscarriage, stillbirth or neonatal death. This is the documentary category, sponsored by Olympus. This print scores 84 and is a silver award. <laughs> and we'll have a comment, if we may, from Ian, who's on 84. Had it not have been for the caption, I would have just thought this was a moment of joy. Okay, the, the expressions on the faces, the little, the little child, you know, with a big smile on there. It's not till you hear the caption to realise what's actually going on there. It's it's quite a moving image. I would have I would have gone up much higher if it, if the print uh, had been treated a little bit better than what it is. Thank you, Ian. We'll have the next print, please. Caption, when the night arrives in Northbridge, it highlights the duality of the world we live. People walk in the light and sit in the dark, walk carefree and sit with burden, and yet the night rolls on. If you are sitting at home listening to the live stream, we welcome you. This is the WAIPP Epson Professional Photographer of the Year Awards. You're listening to the documentary category. Uh, simultaneously, we also have the family open category being judged. And I think you switch across to a different stream and you'll listen to the dulcet tones of Des Burt with his panel. Over the next few days, there are quite a few categories and I'll list those in a moment. Prince scores 77, and we have a comment from Greg Hocking. 
Oh, I'd like to congratulate the photographer for the concept and the um, thought behind this image. It's just the execution and composition lets it down a little. But um, obviously the photographer's thinking very deeply about these issues and I would encourage them to continue doing this, but possibly just be a little bit more aware of the way the uh, elements within the frame work to tell your story. Thank you, Greg. Next print, please. Caption, a grandmother looks lovingly down at her new granddaughter while everyone else is busy sharing the news of baby's arrival on social media. Over today and also tomorrow, we will be judging landscape, which is sponsored by Epson. We'll also be judging commercial portrait photographer of the year overall, emerging photographer of the year, pet animal documentary family newborn, illustrative wedding student travel nature, and there will be a higher scoring print. I just I was just invited to sign into iTunes. I have no idea why. Print scores 85, silver distinction. <laughs> Congratulations to the photographer. And let's have a quick comment from David Britton. You gave this an 87. You liked it. Oh, I love this image. Um, it's a great visual piece of visual communication, perfect composition, um, really well done to the author. And good, good contemporary social comment. Next print, please. Caption, Kate was born without a uterus and was told she would never have children. Kate witnesses the birth of her biological son, Jack, carried and birthed by a surrogate, Michelle. This is the moment when Kate meets her son and Michelle gives baby Jack over to Kate. Congratulations, 86 Silver Distinction. And we'll have a comment from Anna on 88. Thanks, Anna. A, uh, such an emotive, passionate documentary uh, of, this, uh, of, of an amazing event. That's brilliant. Thank you, Anna. Next print, please. Caption. At the inaugural beer run in Perth on 24th November 2019, three close friends race each other in a sprint finish. Despite no prize money, participants relished in running to five breweries and drinking one beer in each of them, all while dressed in costume.
Prince scores 82, silver award. And all fairly consistent, four or five judges in that middle silver. And let's have a comment from David, 82. Yeah, it's a really well-captured image, um, fantastic expressions, and a, in this case, a good use of telephoto. Um, I agree with Greg's comment earlier that normally you want to be in close to the subject with a wider lens, but this one, in this case, it actually works well. Thank you, David. And with that, David, I'll ask you to take a short break, and we'll invite Peter Hassan to join us. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, David. Just bear with me. And we'll have the next print, please. Caption, the divider curtain has fallen while doctors are stitching up a mother after her C-section. First time father Trevor is unable to stomach the sight and quickly turns away. This is the documentary category sponsored by Olympus at the 2019 Epson WA AIPP Professional Photographer of the Year Awards. Being held on the wonderful grounds of the North Metropolitan TAFE. We're actually on the leadable TAFE grounds, I apologise for that. <laughs> but I know they all work very closely together. <laughs> this print scores 82, silver award. Well done to the author. We'll have a quick comment from Ian Vanderwald on 82. I really love the, uh, the humour in this, in this image. Um, I would have gone higher. Perhaps it's a, a situation where the, the caption, I start looking for things in the image and that wouldn't have been immediately obvious to me, but I just, I just love the, the humour in the image, you know, the guy turning his head and squinting. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, Ian. Next print, please. Caption, a young girl from a disadvantaged rural school in Newland, South Africa, eats her lunch while a stray dog happily lies in hope, waiting for her scraps. Children in the location are provided with one free meal a day at school and for many, it is their only meal. So the plot thickens. North Metropolitan TAFE has five campuses. So I was right and I was wrong. So again, thank you to North Metropolitan TAFE and welcome to the Leaderville campus. Reminder that North Metro TAFE is the current Tertiary Institute of the Year in the AIPP Australian Professional Photography Awards and that was the Northbridge Group. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. I should probably know this as the Australian Awards Chair, but um, you can't know everything. Thank you, Peter. This print scores an average of 83. However, we have a silver distinction with a majority of 85. Well 
Uh, no, is everybody happy with that? Okay. Anna, I'll get a comment from you, Anna, if you'd lose. Thank you. Oh, I think that the um, the expressions are fantastic. The use of the rule of thirds, um, the bravery of doing some a, a, a colour image in documentary, which is you know often a, a black and white sort of thing that would be done here. But um, the despair of the dog, who you know, poor darling, he's not going to get any food because she hasn't had enough herself. The whole it's a, it's a fantastic story. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, actually, we have a judge change. Greg, I'm going to get you to have a little break as well. Thank you. And we're going to invite Chris Saunders, the legendary Chris Saunders, who is the current AIPP Australian Professional Photographer of the Year. Imagine that, a West Australian aerial photographer taking great images. And we'll have the next print, please. Welcome, Chris. Caption. There is no midwife or doctor present when Alice's baby girl, Nellie, makes her speedy entrance into the world. Nellie is born with a nuchal hand and nuchal cord, which is considered a more complex birth. Nellie is received by dad's open, ungloved hands and grandmother is ready to assist. Sorry. This print scores 83 and is a silver award. <laughs> have a challenge from Johannes on 88. You have a range of scores from 78, 83, 83 and 84. Thank you, Johannes. Okay. This um, this image is just so beautiful. Um, you know the the way the baby stands out in the middle, surrounded by all the hands. It's it's a little bit like a you know could be a Renaissance painting almost. Um, emotionally, it it it's just beautiful, and it, I think it's really well printed too. I know you're gonna say it's not gonna be super sharp. Um, that's why I didn't go into gold. Um, I think it's just, you know, the color palette and the white, it sits beautifully balanced in the frame. It's just beautiful. And it's a very special um, kind of scary um, birth. Thank you, Johannes. Um, Chris, on 78, you've seen something different at this point? Y yeah, so... Um, I I think you know, for, uh, in terms of the the story, Johannes, I com you know, I, I completely agree. What he what held me down slightly what was the printing. Um, I th I thought it was a bit noisy um, in in terms of print quality and, and perhaps a bit soft. Um, but but I you know perhaps I have underscored it slightly and yeah, I'm prepared to to listen. Yeah. Let's have a listen to somebody else, Anna Blackman on eighty four. I hovered on 84 because, uh, you know, uh, just 
I, I always feeling that the focus should have been on the baby's face. And I've come back here and I've thought, you know, it's not about the baby's face. It's about the hands cradling the baby and, and capturing the baby. And it's, it's not about having the eyes and lips exactly in focus in this case. It's, a, you know, you, we get sort of stuck on, so like, eye has to be in focus. But it's, the eye isn't the focal point. It's all the loving hands capturing the baby that is really the focal point. And, um, and I'm really glad we're talking about this now because I, I really think that that's a very important thing. And noisy, it's probably noisy because it's a high ISO because there wasn't much light. And I think that in this case that can be forgiven. Peter, something to add? Eighty-eight, and uh, the score is eighty-three, and you gave this an eighty-three. So yeah, Johannes I is asking you to consider the next scoring range. Yeah, I, I um, gave it an eighty-three because of the the technicalities in the printing is the only thing that lets it down for me as well. That over sharpening on that hand there is, um, you know, grossly over sharpened there, and, and the same on the back hand as well, and. And I agree with Chris on the noise. You know, if it hadn't have been for the printing, I would have been higher, for sure. And I probably would have preferred it as mon monotone, as black and white as well. Thanks, Pete. Uh, back to you, Johannes. Yeah, I think the, the colour really adds to the image. I think a monochrome would still be beautiful, but but with the red, f you know, slightly magenta red face of the baby, it just pops out a little bit more and gives more separation coming new into the world. Um, the noise I forgive because it's a documentary image, as been mentioned in short and low light, but um, also the hand, look at the hand on the left that's coming down. That's just, you know, the light and the way the hand looks, it's just so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm up at Civil Distinction. I encourage you to come up with me. Thank you, Johannes. You hold your score at 88. Judges, take on board all you've heard and rescore as you see fit. Judges? Just check your vintage scores. I haven't got Ian, Chris, or Peter. There we go. I've got everyone except Peter Hassan. Not yet. It's got 10 feet to travel. They're only electrons. Okay. Okay, just bear with me for a second, guys. I'll get you to, could we have a blank screen, please, Peter? Peter? Little IT glitch. We've taken it to a blank screen. Tony's going to do some manual maths. We'll have the print back, please. And this print scores 84, Silver Award. Uh, we'll change judges. Greg, if you could come back and replace Ian Vanderwall, please.
Thank you. Just going to Okay, we welcome Greg Hocking back to the panel and we'll have the next print, please. Caption. Newly engaged couple, Lask, Lask Sheikah and Joel, embracing their first dance together following a surprise proposal on 7th of April 2019. Lask Sheikah was caught by complete surprise when during her 30th birthday celebration at the Mounts Bay Sailing Club, Joel asked for her hand in marriage. Just a reminder, you're listening to the documentary category sponsored by Olympus at the WA Epson AIPP Professional Photographer of the Year Awards for 2019. And if you are sitting in front of a computer at home, just turn that computer off and rock down here to Leadable Campus for North Metropolitan TAFE and come and sit in and listen to some of the judging. We have some of the best judges in Australia and some of the highest water photographers sharing their knowledge and experience. And you'll see some great imagery, I can guarantee you. Thank you, Greg. This print scores an average of 79 at the highest standard of professional practice. And we'll have a comment, please, from Peter Hassan. I scored this um, 77 for a simple reason to me. This looks like a setup. And, um, and we're meant to be in documentary. That certainly looks like a flashlight setup on the other side. And um, yeah. Uh, I think that's against the rules, isn't it? Uh, this has been validated, Peter, so I'll just remind you that that could be something besides a flash. Yeah. So yeah. aside from that... Could be, but, yeah, to me. Yep. Mm. Um, okay, fair enough. Anna, something to add? Hang on, Anna. I could just, yeah. I'd revisit the cropping, because I think what happens when you crop the tops of the head off, often you shouldn't have too much at the bottom. You, the hands are great, but I'd think about doing this again and cropping a bit off the bottom, a bit off the right-hand side, coming a little bit closer so that you're really going straight in onto that, that little, what the flare's using, that little circular sort of flare. It's, it's got great potential. Thank you, Anna. Next print, please. Caption, a first-time father reaches in to wipe the joyful tears running down his wife's cheek while she cradles their minutes-old newborn on her chest. Those of you who have joined us at the Leadville campus for the North Metro TAFE, I remind you to... Grab one of the lucky door prize tickets and go around to the sponsors. Connect the sponsor with the sponsored category to win a prize. Uh, put your name, your number, and put it in the box right next to the Epson stand. Remind Bruce while you're there that Richmond will struggle to make the eight. Thank you. Thank you, judges. All judges fairly consistent there. Prince Scavage is 77, and we'll have a quick comment from Chris Saunders. Um, 
I, I think the, the 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 caption uh, the caption to me is doesn't quite connect with the uh, with the uh, with the image here, and I, I don't quite get the. Um, I can see his finger finger there, but it, it doesn't you know convey that you know the sense of connection between between the two for me for for me quite. Thanks, Chris. Next print, please. Again, for the audience, it's a great opportunity to not only just go and speak to the, see the sponsors and what they've got, but have a chat to them. I believe Burke is here from Olympus, so make sure you grill him on all the latest stuff because they're right at the cutting edge of the technology at the moment. And if you're lucky, he might even share a few secrets. The caption on this one, on a walk through Orange Grove informal settlement in the Eastern Cape, South Africa, I came across this frail elderly gentleman sitting outside his shack with his loyal companion. He sits there every day greeting those who pass by for some company. This print scores 83, silver award. I thought that might happen. We have a challenge. You can't challenge it, Peter. No, no, no. Well, Anna's going to Anna's going to challenge it first, I think. Uh, but thank you. We'll come back to you. Um, Anna on 92 is challenging. You have a range of scores from 76, 82, 83, 84. So obviously we start off with the uh, the print having this beautiful emotion qual emotional quality of this old lonely man who has his best friend the dog and you know how wonderful is that dog just sitting there with him. But then you go into the leading lines and the stripes on the corrugated iron matching the stripes on the t-shirt of the man, all different shades of green so the colour palette is absolutely beautiful. To actually, to get a a, a, like a shanty town like this and the fact that he has it looks like he swept the dirt in front of his home his horrible home made of cor corrugated iron and he swept it and kept it clean and kept all the rubbish away I mean this man this is all he's got to be proud of I'm getting emotional here this is all he's got to be proud of and he just you know even that mat it's probably a bit of a hessian bag that is a mat in front of his home is beautifully clean and swept it just it says so much about his character but then the the geometry of it the emotion um it, it, it's a beautiful documentary image and a graphic image and and a lot of lovely abstracts and leading lines it's it's got everything thank you anna uh johannes you're on 76. Yes, um, thank you for pointing that out, Anna. Um, I did not see how well kept the, the place was. Um, I really enjoy the graphic nature and the lines um, of the image, but emotionally, it, it feels like you can take this image every day. That's why I scored a professional practice because, like, the, the dogs elevating this image, but there's, there's it's a nice emotion in the image, but it's not enough for me to go up in awards range. Also, like when you look at the clouds with the clipping, I think if you would have just cropped that top down a bit, since you don't have that detail, that might have helped improve it too. Um, yeah, emotionally, that's just not enough for me, but I'm, but I'm listening. I, you know, I, I scored it as I didn't see how well kept the place was, so I gotta look at it again. Thanks, Johannes. Um, let's go to Greg if on 83, and then I'll go to Peter, who's got something to add. Uh, yes, uh, I was very happy for this to be an award image. Um, I tend to agree um, with Johannes that the uh, uh, overblown cloud at the top, um, just as a distraction, the eye just... Because of the graphic nature of this um, being so strong, having an element like that which is just 
not working um, is a big distraction, I believe. Um, but having said that, um, a lot of the things which Anna have said about the, uh, the emotion and the bond between the old gentleman and his dog is fantastic. Um, so yes, I awarded as a clear silver at 83. Thank you, Greg. And Peter, you had something to add? Yeah, um, I'd like to just reiterate what Greg just said. I really wanted to go higher, but and um, the the clipping in the cloud, it, it has all the elements there, but it just needed to come down because it had all that wonderful graphics, the tin, everything. And like even in the caption, it, it, it says, you know, the guy's there every day, you know, so you've got all day every day to get it right. And you had this wonderful thing there, but to me, it's an award. But if it, it had just been cropped down, I would have gone higher for sure. Thanks, Peter. Anybody have something to add? That's only you, Chris. You good? Okay, let's go back to Anna. Thank you. I, I understand what you're saying, but I, I think that if you took the skyline out, you'd lose like you know foreground, midground, background. It wouldn't it wouldn't lead you far enough out and back around again. Um, and I just yes, maybe you could take this every day, but you know you've got to be there. You've got to see it. You've got to understand how important it is and how important this little tiny bit of the world is for this man. Uh, you you have to get it at a time when there is no one else in it. You know it's not that simple and a documentary shot where you're just capturing that precise moment where the dog is looking lovingly at his master and the man is looking at you thinking, wow, someone's going to come and talk to me. Um, that's making my day. I'm glad I swept my dirt out the front of my house. But the, just, the, just the beautiful colour palette, the other things that are going on, um, maybe you won't come into gold, but please, Silver Distinction, guys. It scored 83 and is on 92, and she's asking you to consider the, the comments and to rescore accordingly. And the print scores 86 and is a silver distinction. A reminder, this is and that was the uh, documentary category sponsored by our good friends at Olympus. Now, someone's told me Bert from Olympus is actually here in the room. Now, can you put your hand up, Bert, so everyone knows where you are? Where's Bert? Bert from Olympus. Bert from Olympus. Hello? Where's Bert from Olympus? There he is. So just see, we're trying to point you out, mate, so they can all come and have a chat. There you go. All right. So there you go. That's a documentary category. I want to thank the judges uh, for their deliberations. Ian, Greg, Jeff, Johannes, David, Chris, Peter, and, of course, Anna. That's the documentary category. We'll be back, back very shortly with the next category. And thank you to Jeremy. Thanks, guys. Take a quick break, and we'll be back.